That is. Okay, we still have another minute to go. We have is Deanna anybody else on having? Here? Oh, what? we're having trouble hearing. Is anybody else having trouble hearing, or is it just us? There's a lot of clicking and background noise. We can mute everybody when we start. Oh, yeah, okay. we're gonna mute everyone, but we can hear you. Okay. Fine. Maybe it's. Michelle, you're frozen. Mm -hmm. Was trying to call me. Yeah, someone was trying to call me. Sometimes because my okay. phone number is the Zoom line, people try to call. Okay. We can hear you better now. Okay. It could be my service too, because I'm in the middle of Mississippi <laughs> somewhere. <laughs> All right. All right. Well, it's 830. Hi, Betty. Hi, Amy. Um, hi, Danielle. Hi, Melissa. Are you in hi. San Diego, Melissa? I am. I'm jealous. <laughs> 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 it's great here. <laughs> Where I are bet. you? Are you at the lake? Uh, we're on our way. We're in Mississippi right now. Oh, my. Yeah. Oh, yes. I did see your driver. How's your driver doing? Oh, good. I'm uh, chilling in the third row, and he's up here. I don't know if you guys can see because it's super dark, but um, yeah, it's good. Well, um, we're going to go ahead and get started. Kurt, will you? Um, mute the lines and then I'll unmute myself. All right. Yay. Well, so glad you guys are on the call. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Michelle Barnett. So I'm a national marketing director and leader of this Plant Strong tribe. And I'm super excited tonight to share with you guys um, some time with my mentor and some wisdom from my mentor, my good friend, Kurt Beavers. He has been with the Juice Plus Company for 30 years. Is that right? Is that even possible? Yeah. <laughs> um, it is possible. 30, 30 awesome years. And he has a lot of wisdom. I'm pretty sure he's been asked every question in the book. Um, he's learned how to do this business successfully in every country that Juice Plus operates in, which is a huge feat. And he is married to his wife, Lori. They have three kids. They have Zach, Hope, and why did I just blank? Trey. Trey, right? Okay. Yep. And, and Katie, right? And they have a grandson named Powell. And the number two on the way. Really? I just missed that. Out. Oh, yep. so exciting. That's so exciting. Um, so he's a grandpa. You can tell by the white hair. <laughs> I had to do that. Um, but anyways, tonight he's going to share with us some wisdom on just how to really build a rhythm into our business because, you know, every month, you know, we have goals uh, for our business. Every month, the following month, we get paid on what we do the month before. And from the very beginning, Kurt has always taught me, you know, what you do this month is going to affect your paycheck next month. So if you, you know, have a desire or a goal, let's finish strong. And so I'm excited. I heard Kurt shared this presentation at a boot camp recently. It went over so well, and everyone loved it. He's going to share with us in Georgia at the boot camp at the Blue Ridge Mountains. So I am going to go ahead and let you take it over, Kurt, and we're all eager to hear your wisdom, and thank you so much for getting on to share with us tonight. You are quite welcome, and I'm going to switch and share my screen here, and we're going to get started. So I am so excited about being with you guys tonight. We're going to talk for just a few minutes um, about creating some rhythm and some routine and kind of a pattern to your business that I think will help you um, be consistent, <clears throat> drive your paycheck. And I think it will do a lot of things to help you understand a flow that you can kind of get into with your business. And some of you may have seen this before. Some of you may not. Uh, if you ever took a piano lesson when you were younger, you may have seen this metronome and it kind of makes this sound. It just kind of gets that clicking noise in your head and you kind of build this pattern and this rhythm to what you do. And in our business, since I've been doing this for 30 years, we've got lots of patterns that kind of come at us. Some of those we need to grab a hold of and some we need to 
um, just acknowledge it's what the world's doing, but we need to get a better grip on a plan for ourselves. And so all of us, we get this yearly January to de December thought in our heads that the world runs on that, you know, calendar year. Some of you maybe have been in a business where you had a fiscal year, but most of the world evolves around that January to December calendar year. Then we get the monthly thought process going in our heads, which is the first to the 31st. And we start each month over. And then some of you are really good, <clears throat> probably already at doing weekly planning. And if you've never done this, not just for your Juice Plus business, uh, I follow someone online whose name is Michael Hyatt, michaelhyatt.com. And he had, if you go to his website, michaelhyatt.com, he's got an excellent how to do a weekly planning session to kick off your week right. And most people do those on Sunday night or Monday morning. That would be a great thing for you to do. And there's some things on the Juice Plus uh, website that are two by two by two training where you can map out what you do on a weekly basis. And then we get down to the daily calendar. And I would say you do, do most of your goal setting annually, monthly, maybe weekly. But daily is when you can actually get down to looking at your task and the things you have to do. So don't, um, don't confuse task and goals. Goals are a target and tasks are activities to help you reach that target. And you really can't do tasks on a bigger scale than daily. And that's what that DMO, daily method of operation, begins to create in you. Now, in America, at least, I would say it's probably true in other countries, but I haven't experienced it personally, so I won't speak on it. But in America, our culture really gives us two New Year's every year. Um, and I'll explain that, because that sounds odd to you probably but in january we have this new calendar year uh we change from 2017 that will change to 2018 this year and it's when people do a lot of new year's resolutions it's big life things they want to change they want to set a new course of direction they want to change some things but what i found in our business in in terms of people engaging in activity i found that the back to school new year that first or second week in August when summer comes to an end and everybody's ready to get back into the swing of things, depending on where you are, it's sometime early August, they keep shrinking summer on us. But those are two big, huge surges we have in our business because either people are making new decisions to get better, do better, and making life changes, New Year's resolutions, I wanna do this this year, I wanna change you know, what I did last year, that happens in January. And then August really is that, okay, it's time to get back to business. Summer's over, kids are back in school, it's time to get that rhythm back in place. So just acknowledge that those two events happen on your calendar every year. <clears throat> now we're gonna get a little more specific to the Juice Plus business. And really ever since I joined this company, um, I have planned and mapped out my business conference to conference. Occasionally it'll happen in March, but 90% of the time we have a spring conference in April and a fall conference in October. And you're going to, as we're moving into Indianapolis, people have goals and targets. The company's given us this amazing summer fun surge contest to double and even more in many cases our fast track bonuses. And you can ask your upline about how you can make sure you get that extra money in July and August if you're not aware about that. But as we push into Indianapolis, we're trying to reach new goals. We're trying to get promotions. It's a time to celebrate and press forward towards some targets. But then as soon as Indianapolis is over, what I'll be doing as a leader is working with my team to plan their business out between, April, between October and April when we have our Phoenix conference so that we can map out those six months. And then one thing I teach, and Michelle is actually in the car on her way to the Blue Ridge boot camp this weekend, is I teach everybody that conference is a non-negotiable. You know, everybody needs to be at conference. And, you know, there's a quote that we always use. Everybody at conference is not making $10,000 a month. But everybody in our business making $10,000 a month is at conference. The leaders, the ones that are serious about the business, they plan their year around that April and October event. And then I teach everyone so that you're not uh, more than 90 days from being a part of and attached to the Juice Plus community, that you attend one boot camp that's in your area, or you can road trip and go to an area where your team is, that in between each conference, you find one boot camp to attend. In Atlanta, we do two a year. In January, between fall and spring, we do the Peachtree Boot Camp. 
And then in July, between spring and fall, we do the Blue Ridge Boot Camp in the North Georgia Mountains. So there are boot camps all across the country, and you can go to juiceplusevents.com or the events tab on your virtual office and find one that's close to you. So kind of build that rhythm, conference to conference, and slide a boot camp in the middle. That way you're, you'll keep building your community. You'll stay attached to leaders, to training, to information, to motivation, education, so that you don't have a long lapse before you get your batteries recharged. <clears throat> now, this calendar is to represent our team building bonuses. Those are dollar signs and paydays. And I know each of you on this line, you may have a target date for your next team building bonus. But if you bring a new per person on board, they've got 30 days to hit their HLP. They've got 60 days to hit their 2000 plus, six months to make sales coordinator. So as you're building your team, you have these money targets all over the place. There's no calendar month. There's no fiscal month. It's just when somebody signed up, they've got those target dates or they've done a restart. But what you don't want to do is you don't want to try and get involved in that chaos of all these different dates and you trying to manage your business based on team building dates. You want to help individuals, but what you really want to do is you want to manage your business based on your paid day. And we get paid in our company every month on the 10th. We usually get it on the fifth or sixth, but no later. It's guaranteed to be in our bank accounts through virtual banking by the 10th. And you got in this business to build a residual income. You didn't get in this business to build a sporadic bonus based income. The bonuses help you build momentum and launch people and get people started and it rewards them for their quick success. But the 10th of the month, that paycheck is what you want to design and build your business around. And so what you have to do is you have to look at our compensation plan and begin to see how you manage your business to maximize that paycheck on the 10th of every month. Now, one of the things that you're going you're gonna to notice is that our marketing plan has several steps. Sometimes you'll hear this slide called stair steps. The compensation plan starts with $50 as a direct distributor all the way up to national marketing director. And there are lots of details here. All the retail profit, commissions, bonuses, um, expense allowance, our business incentive bonus, the Q school that people are about to go to here early in August if you're a QNMD, and then the um, benefits package and up to $3,000 a month expense allowance that comes with the national marketing director. And as I begin to explain this business to a new person, what I've learned to do is I've learned that I've got to start on the right to explain vision and potential. So when I sit down and explain the business to someone, I start with national marketing director and show them what the possibilities are, what the potential is, and cast a vision for what they could do with this business. So the start for your vision and potential is over here, but then once I've cast this vision, whoops, sorry, <clears throat> once I've cast this vision, I go back over here to this $50 application fee, and we begin to develop a plan and strategy. So they need to understand the potential, but then they need to understand the place where they actually start laying the foundations of their business. And I liken building this business to you understanding something just as simple as building a house with bricks. You know, I've heard this story and I've shared it many times because it's so real to me. Let's say, you, you know, you and a friend are walking up and there's this construction site and busyness going on and you walk up to the first guy and he's laying bricks and you ask him what he's doing and he's just haphazardly picking up a brick, laying a brick. And he said, I'm laying bricks. And he doesn't seem real enthusiastic, but he's occupied in the mundane of laying a brick and laying a brick. And you walk up to the next person and you look at him and you're kind of curious as to why, what's going on still, because the first guy didn't really tell you. And this next person, if you look at him, you would say he's laying bricks, but you ask him what he's doing. And even though he's laying bricks, he tells you he's building a wall. He sees some structure and results of what he's building. He knows what he's trying to accomplish at a small scale. And then you walk up to another person, they're laying bricks and they're building a wall and they seem to be very, um, you know, next step driven. They know where the next brick goes and knows what they're doing. And you ask them, what are you doing? And they tell you they're building a cathedral. Now, each of those three people were laying bricks, but the person that understands they're building a cathedral, they're building a national marketing director position for themselves and their family, then you can go back and show them the foundation of how to lay a block, how to lay a brick. And the brick in our business 
is that HLP, that healthy living plan. And you can become a national marketing director if you will master the skill of the HLP. And there's really no reason, the company gives us lots of grace, but there's no reason anyone would take 30 days to make HLP. I mean, you're going to get on the product, get on the trio. All you've got to do is get two trio customers and you've reached HLP and everybody has that kind of influence. Everybody on this call tonight could read a great book and call a bunch of your friends or text a bunch of your friends and say, you've got to read this book. It was amazing. I just finished it. And you're going to have a certain number of people click on Amazon or run to a bookstore and buy that book. Juice Plus is the same thing, whether it's a book, a movie, a dress you buy on sale. When you get excited about something, you have that inner circle of people you can share with. And reaching HLP is just as simple as getting two people on your inner circle to join you in that mission and journey of inspired, healthier living. Okay. So you've got to master the skill of HLP. You've got to master laying the bricks, but you've got to know what you're building. That's your why. You're building this business, this residual income, the benefits, the six-figure income, the expense allowance for you and your family, but you've got to master this skill to get there, okay? Now, I teach and I operate every month on the premise that there's a beginning to each month and there's an end. And I want every month to start well and every month I want to finish strong. I call this managing your month, getting control of the month so that you can control your paycheck and the growth of your income. And the way I do this is I ask three questions every month when I'm doing a coaching call with someone. You know, what I want to do is if you're not familiar, you're going to, there's PVC reports and I'll show you how that maps out in just a minute. But I asked three questions. What went well last month? So if, if this was the beginning of August, I said, hey, how did July go? What went well? We're going to celebrate. Hey, I got five Trio customers. I went on Facebook Live twice and got great interaction on my social media channel. You know, what went well last month? And let's keep doing that. I did four three-way phone calls and got two new frontline distributors. Let's keep doing three-way phone calls. We're going to celebrate the good things, celebrate the victories. I promoted out a new HLP. We're going to celebrate that. And then we're going to ask the second question. Once we've decided what went well, what we need to keep doing, what went wrong last month is question number two. What do you need to stop doing? What mistakes did you make? What obstacles got in your way? Where did you procrastinate? What goals did you set that you didn't achieve? Did you not get customer qualified? Did you not qualify your business? What went wrong last month? And let's stop doing that. Let's, let's acknowledge that we need to get those things out of the way because we don't want to keep doing those wrong things. And then the third question is the most important. It's based on question number one and number two. What do I need to do different to make this month the best month ever? What changes do I need to make? And if you look at this calendar, this is kind of a picture of a month. So right there at the beginning of the month, as soon as qualifiers day is over, the next morning, you're going to be getting an end of the month PVC report. It's called a downline and growth report. Technically on your in your email, I just use the slang term PVC report. You'll hear those, hear those two terms interchange, PVC report, downline and growth report. But you're going to get that early in the month, and you want to make sure you grab that report and do a coaching call with your team members, and you do your own coaching call with your support person, your success partner, and get those three questions answered. Look at your PVC report, and then you're going to take personal interactions. There's some data like three-way phone calls and social media victories and promotions that you may not immediately see on your PVC report, but you know what happened. So you're going to have real-time reporting as well as statistical data from your PVC report to do that coaching call to kick off the month, to start well. And then those middle three month, weeks of the month, you're going to be conducting the activity that you decide to set in place on that initial coaching call. And then the 25th, you're going to get another PVC report that tells you where you are three weeks into the month. And you're gonna take that report, do a second coaching call, and you're gonna pull out all the stops, all out massive action, because you set a goal and you wanna finish strong. It's like my son, Zach, he's in college. He, great student, makes great, 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 great grades, but he consistently, it seems to me like, he loves to do these three-day all-nighters where he drinks lots of coffee. You know, he, he, he has an exam. He's going to do well on the exam. He's going to pass that exam. He's going to do what he needs to do. He's going to get that project done. And he's known about that exam since he got the syllabus at the beginning of the semester. He's known that project was due for six weeks, but
but inevitably he procrastinates, but he gets it done. And you're going to learn that humans procrastinate. They're going to get some of that activity done, but they're going to not have it all done. And that last week of the month, the leaders in our business learn how to master the skill of finishing strong. You, in effect, pull the all-nighters you need to pull during that last week of the month. Y'all team up together and you get it done and you have an incredibly victorious month and you drive your paycheck up because you've used that urgency at the end of the month to get it done. So you need to master and learn how to not only start the month well, but to finish it strong so that you don't just say, oh, well, I'll do it next month. No, you treat it like you've got an exam in college. I said I'm going to do this. I set a goal. I've got to pass this test. I've got to complete this month the way I said I was going to complete it because I want to drive my paycheck. I want to control my paycheck coming up on the 10th, and I want to do that. So you can do this if you'll build this rhythm into your business. And one of the things that I teach is every month people ask me, what do I need to do? Well, these three things, you need to keep doing these three things over and over again until you've got your five legs in place structurally to make national marketing director. And you're going to get tons of tower garden customers. You're going to get tons of complete customers. You're going to get gummy customers. But what I want you to do is in order to make sure that your business is qualified to get every bonus you want to get, I want you to add all those tower garden and complete and gummy customers. But I don't want you to stop getting trio customers. I want you to get five trio customers per month. Set that as your goal until you have 25 trio customers. That's automatic reorder business that's gonna make sure your business is qualified for every bonus every month, okay? That qualifies you for your, for your performance bonus and make sure you're in great shape. And you know you may get four one month or you may get six one month, but you wanna set a target of five trio customers every month until you have 25 personal trio customers. Second thing you wanna do every month is you wanna help one new person frontline to you reach HLP. One of those five customers, show them how they can get that extra $100 bonus by making HLP. You want to help one new person reach HLP every month. And then the third thing you want to do is you want to help one of your previous HLPers do 2000 plus and reach their VF and get to the 14% commission level. So you do those three things every month. You set that pattern in place. And when you bring on a new person, what do they need to do? The exact same three things until they've got their five trio customers and they've got their five sales coordinator legs in place. So look at that last thing on the bottom right. If you help three people reach HLP, you make VF. And if you help three people make VF, you make sales coordinator, okay? And what you need to do to become a national marketing director is you need 25 trio customers and five sales coordinators. Now, obviously your business is gonna grow beyond that. You know, those sales coordinator legs are gonna have more people under them. But those two magic numbers, if you'll build 25 trio customers and build five sales coordinator legs, you will be right on top of making national marketing director, okay? Now, how do you do that? Well, when I start a new person in this business, we sit down and have a conversation because I want them to have skin in the game. They have to have, they have to understand the commitment and the investment they need to make. And I, you know, I think of it as stewardship. There are three areas in my life that I try to be a good steward, my money, my time, and my relationships, the people in my life. In order to build this business, you've got to invest a little bit of all three of those things. Very little money, it's $50 to open up and start your own virtual franchise. You make that $50 investment, but you have to make sure that you treat this business like Eric Worre and some others have said in some of their professional books on our industry, is you've got to be a pro at this business and you've got to treat it like a business. If you treat it like a $50 hobby, guess what? It will pay you like a hobby. So you got to make that $50 investment, but you also have to like, like a child that goes to school and they put that lock on their locker. They've got right, left, right, that combination. The first combination is 50. The second combination number is 100. I need a list of 100 names. You can, Michelle can teach you, Casey can teach you. You can go to my website, makealife.jp. There's a memory jogger training video on there. You need to get at least 100 names on a list. And just like I did with Michelle, I recommend that you use a Google sheet. You know, Google documents, the, sp the spreadsheet, the Excel version of Google is called Google Sheets and it's free. 
and you can create a list of 100 names and you're going to have columns like name um, city state phone email their background and then you're going to the last step is going to be action steps and you're going to make that list of 100 names and you're going to share that list with your sponsor if i'm your sponsor you're going to share that with me and we're going to go over that list of 100 names and you're going to know exactly what your best first exposure is for each of those 100 people when we're done with that list is it share a video with them share this in facebook messenger meet them at starbucks do a three-way phone call you'll have a exact step that's your plan of action with every person on that list and then the third number in unlocking the combination to building this business is 24 and that's 24 months so i need 50 dollars, 100 names in 24 months why 24 months well if you follow our fast track plan to fruition hlp in 30 days vf in, in 60 days sales coordinator in six months and you keep going up to senior sales coordinator q and md and nmd if you'll stay on that track there is a 24 month path for you to make national marketing director and reach the top level with our company now some people do it faster lori made national my wife made national marketing director in eight months i made it our 14th month i've got people that have taken seven years to make national marketing director and everywhere in between but our fast track program if you do what i'm telling you get those five trio customers promote an hlp help an hlp make vf and you keep doing that till you get your five sales coordinator legs in place you can reach the top level on this company in 24 months. So that's what I want you to understand is you've got to build a rhythm to start well, finish strong every month. You've got to do the things daily that are those activities that you set up. You've got to get that second coaching call and plan that last week out, pull those virtual all nighters, just get whatever, do whatever you have to do to get it done. And Michelle could tell you many times that you know it's been the midnight hour because she set her sights on something and we got it done you know working with casey you do things you plan the end of the month you get it done and you don't it's not optional because you set a goal you got that exam you got that test and what you do is you just do whatever it takes to get it done because you want your paycheck to be driven up you want to build your business and you make sure you finish strong and then you do those three things every month and you make sure when you bring a new person on board, they make these three commitments. Now, I'm gonna close my screen share and go back to just looking at you for a minute. And um, I just want you to know that there are lots of things you can learn about building a Juice Plus virtual franchise. There are, there are lots of um, videos, there's lots of training, there's lots of techniques. But whether it's Juice Plus or whether it's any other business, if you ask me, how do I, how, what do I see in someone that's successful versus someone that's not successful? Why are some people successful in Juice Plus and others are not? Why are some people successful in real estate and some are not? <clears throat> the number one common thing is they learn how to manage their time well. And in our business, the potential is huge. There's no limit on your income. But there's one thing that you may never have done before if you've had a job, and that is learned how to manage yourself. If you've always had a manager, maybe you've never had to make sure you got up and started the day with intention and focus. Maybe you get up and have some quiet time and get yourself organized. Maybe you make sure you take care of the big rocks first before you let all the minutia and the details consume your time. So these things that I shared with you tonight are the important things you've got to do to build your business. And I think you'll get really excited because once you put this into place for, for two or three months, this rhythm will become natural and what you'll see it doing is driving your paycheck up and up and up and up. So that's what I wanted to share with you tonight and I hope it has blessed you. And I'm gonna turn it back over to Michelle and if she wants to ask some questions or take a next step, but that's 30 minutes, Michelle, so I'll turn it back over to you. Perfect. Thank you so much, Kurt. I love that. And I love just the reminder that this business is really so simple. I think when we look at, you know, getting the national marketing director or, you know, some of the things that people, the goals people may have qualifying, it can feel complicated at times or seem overwhelming. But if you just remember, it's about just, you know, adding customers, sharing your story. It's about helping other people share their story, do that HLP. Because really, if you just can master the simple, the simplest, the HLP, and teach others to do that, you can do everything in the business. I mean, 
That's amazing. Yep. yep. So Master that we were, little bitty skill and just keep doing it over and over again. Exactly. So, you know, I just, I really am encouraged and I'm excited to see what our team is able to do, you know, between now and Indianapolis. And I'm looking forward to seeing you guys in um, Indianapolis. And I, we, we just went to a boot camp this last weekend or a, event. And, you know, it really is so important to get yourself plugged in to conferences and to regionals, boot camps, things like that, because they really build your belief. And what I shared at the, the training I did this weekend was the reason that people don't join your team, the reason people don't order, and the reason people cancel or say no is all rooted in lack of belief. You know, they don't believe the business, they can do it. They don't believe it's worth their time. They don't believe it's worth the investment. And so, um, you know, we have to believe in ourselves first and go do it. And then if we've done it, then we can teach anyone else to do the same thing. So thanks for your time. I don't have any other questions. Thanks everyone for being on and we'll see you next week.